All right, I totaled my car, so I won't be able to drive out for a week or two because I figured out how to get a new one. So we are here at the ancient fish secret fishing hole of Tenney Park. Actually, it's not that ancient secret. It's where the pipes let out. This is probably one of the most, if not the most fished area of Tenney Park. I'm using a Bobby Garland jig. Even though this place is well known, I don't really see too many people actually pulling the ancient secret fish out of here. Now, pretty much we're only going to be uh, slinging today. And the reason we're only going to be slinging today is because I didn't really bring any bait or I didn't really bring the hooks that I actually need to for the gato fish. So we're just going to be kind of slinging this jig today, um, I'm hoping that we can actually get something. Now something to my small pole, and it is not small. I don't know what it is. I think it's a nice bass though. Oh yeah, Seb. That looks like a big one too. Oh no, it's not a big one, but it is a nice bass. All right, all right guys. I actually got boom bass at dusk, boom bass. Oh man, bass or a walleye, I think it's an oon bass. But it's like one pound of bass, then like four pounds of reeds. But I got oon bass, as you can see. That's actually a pretty nice bass. But it is, I think like a two pounder. Nice bass. This mean boy was about uh, 2.1 pounds, slightly more than two. But a nice bass, Tenny Park, see a bass. Well, that was a nice bass. Didn't get the crappy I'm looking for, but uh, 2.1 bass I'll take. I know there's bigger ones in here. I've seen people pull up like nearly five pounders from here. I'm not even sure if I could handle five pounders on this. I'm wondering what happened to the crappy because usually there are crappy here, probably earlier in the summer. I haven't caught a crappie this late in the summer, I guess, from here. So I guess as they get later in the summer, the crap eye are no longer here. But I know the bass here definitely do hit after dark, so we'll keep fishing here for a while. All right, I got another fish. I was sitting down. I do believe, what is that? I don't know. Oh, it's another, it's a crap eye. Yep, that's what I was looking for. The crap eye. Yes, finally got what I was looking for. That is the target species. I think it's a black crappie. I'm going to keep fishing here and slinging because that is a crap eye. All right, see ya, crappy. Thank you for playing. There we go. All right, we're here at Tenny Breakwater, not the lagoon this time. And we're gonna toss just a worm out under a bobber here and see if anything picks it up. I know there's a lot of small fish down there. It is a little bit windy today. It's not like super windy, but it is a little bit windy today. So may not be as good as the previous couple of days but I can see a couple of small fish down there. So hopefully something picks this up. Um, I'm gonna toss it a little bit deeper, but here we're today we're gonna throw some worms under bobbers. I'm gonna try to throw some cut bait, maybe some live bait as well, and see what we can catch here, both like at dusk right now and at night. I also have some lures that I want to fish as well, but it doesn't need to be that far out there. I think this far out will be just fine. The wind will eventually blow it in, but uh, it's a good setup right there. Hopefully something doesn't take my pole, but it's a tiny piece of worm, so we'll see what we can get. Oh, and I think I finally got one of these small fishes. Is that a bluegill? Yeah, it's a tiny little sunfish. Tiny little sunfish. This will go great under ooh, no, bobber. Green sunfish, we're gonna put him under a bobber, and uh, hopefully we get a big fish to eat him. Lost the green sunfish, but my bobber went down with more ferocity this time, and this time it is, ooh, it's nice. A little yellow perch, that will make perfect bait. Yellow perch, make perfect bait for whatever is out there. Gato fish or uh, walleye, they all love this stuff. Yellow perch. Got a little yellow perch on the line here. I'm gonna toss them out under this giant bobber. I think this bobber will accept them. This guy isn't that big. And uh, hopefully something kills them or eats them up. I think that's far enough out. He'll probably swim out under the bobber a little bit. And uh, yeah, hopefully something eats them. Looking for any large fish that wants a good meal. I'll well, just throw it out in the rocks and see what else it can give. Dusk fishing, worm under a bobber, Tenny Park. Winner, definite winner. Got something else, it seems a little bit bigger too. What is it? Oh, it's another, it's a nice bluegill. There's a lot of, uh, I think that's just gonna be cut bait for tonight. But another nice fish. Cut bait though, cut bait. 
All right, the little bait fish in the lagoon have stopped biting. So we're gonna use this one to fish for a catfish as well. And uh, nothing has taken the big thing under a bobber yet, but we're gonna use some cuck bait here on that bluegill head that we caught. Hopefully we'll actually get something. This is gonna be weightless. So usually I do do better with weightless than uh, under a weight, but try to throw this as far as we can. It's about as far as I can go, unfortunately. And hopefully something takes that bait. All right, something has this. I'm pretty sure it's a bullhead, just by the way it's fighting. Yep. Is that a bullhead? Seems kind of big to be a bullhead, but uh, bullheads can get pretty big in Mendota. So is that a bullhead or a wally? That's a walleye. Is it a walleye? Is it a smallmouth? What is that? It is. Oh, that's a. That's actually a smallmouth. No, is it? No, what is it? It's a bass. It's not a bad one either. Oh, never caught a bass after dark before. But I guess it's the first time for everything. Smallmouth bass after dark. That's very interesting. Very, very interesting. Smallmouth bass. Never caught a smallie after dark before, but about a two pound smallie. Tenny Lagoon after dark. Two pound smallie. All right. Nice little smallie there. Let's just let this go in the water. Ow, 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 let go of my finger. There you go, there it goes. There it goes. It's gonna take a little while to revive, but uh, yeah. All right, see a fish. See a fish. I'm trying to bite my finger off, but it goes back into the deep end. That was an interesting few days at uh, Tenny Lagoon and Tenny Breakwater. I didn't get any gotho fish. I just couldn't get them off the breakwater. But there's a lot of little bait fish like yellow perch, uh, small like bass and bluegills in that um, breakwater area. And by far the best way to fish that area is like small bluegills, which there are plenty of over there under a big bobber. I got several hits like the perch got several hits. Something eventually took it, but it did not uh, hook onto my eight dot hook. I need like maybe like a three or a four out and a small enough blue to fit on that three or four out. I think I can hook some like decent bass and some decent walleye too. So I will be maybe going back there this year, if not this year, then next year. But I figured out like the best way to fish Tenny Lagoon. Of course, I might go there back in November just to fish for gato fish as well. But if you go there during the day, bluegills, small bluegills under a bobber, that is key. Only caught two nice bass there over the two days. Got a crappie and several like small panfish. But I think next time I go back there, I will do much, much better. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. And I will see you guys next time.